Shout out all Urban Central. Yeah, this put up future hitters. Love to my hometown, Atlanta. Got you. Gang them. Or is it that you sucking little rod? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! What's up, everybody? Another great workout today. Staying in shape, staying inspired. Inspiring myself. You know what I'm saying? First thing you gotta do is inspire yourself without inspiration within, from within. You know what I'm saying? That self love, that self respect, and all that. Shout out all Urban Central Love, Meow in Atlanta. Got you, Curtis. What's good, man? You and your feelings about Donnie, cause she would gang them. Or is it that you sucking little rot? However, it go, I want you to fade all that since it's entertainment. Let me beat the underscore underscore out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis, what's up, everybody? Another great workout today. Stay in shape, staying inspired, inspiring myself. You know what I'm saying. First thing you got to do is inspire yourself without inspiration within from within you know what i'm saying that self-love my self-respect and all that ain't nothing hold on to your edges because the drama between stevie j and 50 cent is about to get real messy stevie j the love and hip-hop star and 50 cent the rapper turned have some serious beef that's been brewing and it all came to a head when Stevie J confronted Fitty about exposing his alleged gay affairs. The streets are saying that 50 Cent put Stevie J on blast airing out all his dirty laundry for the world to see. But why would he do that? What's the real tea behind this explosive confrontation? Is there more to this story than meets the eye? And we're about to dive into all the juicy details and spill the tea on this shocking celebrity showdown. So grab your popcorn, because this is going to be a wild ride now. You might be wondering what's the history between these two, how did we get here? Well, let me break it down for you. Stevie J and 50 Cent go way back, and their relationship has been a roller coaster ride to say the least. It all started when Stevie J was producing hits for some of the biggest names in the game, including 50 Cent's Unit Crew. They were running in the same circles, making money moves, and seemed to be tight. But you know how it goes in the industry. One minute you're cool, the next minute. It's beef me looking at this loss. He also alleges that did he forced him to watch a video of Stevie J having sex with a man who little Stevie huh? Who's Stevie what JN used to call him Stevie yo I read that man um, I don't know if you noticed but then maybe they have a tape that we don't we could we didn't see cause the pictures was a little vague. There was an exotic worker came out and said that was him and not Stevie J but in order for them to put that in there they must clearly thought it was Stevie J or think it's Stevie J but you got to get this art check this out he knew that this kid admired Stevie J and loved the work Stevie J had done in the industry in the past this kid looked up to Stevie J now what if Puff told him that 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 was Stevie J in the tape and the kid the guy looked like Stevie J he did facial uh, that they his face he did facial as face was fixed like he was doing some of the faces Stevie J V making you understand so now the kid could have been drunk kid could have been high he was like yo puff could have been like yo you talking about this is somebody you admire look what he doing this Stevie J right here now and that kid mind he may have thought that was Stevie J or he think that Stevie J if puff told him that was Stevie J was Stevie J so people can't say oh he lying and everything like that because we really don't know what was said but the kid said he told him this is somebody I admire this is somebody you got high aspirations for that you that that you want to be like look and see what he doing this what you should be doing too wow that was crazy and you knew Stevie J right I knew Stevie J real well bro I knew Stevie J when he was with bad boy one of the hitmen when he went him and puff fell out I used to take Stevie J around and everything bodyguard him in certain places. And everything, Stevie J was one of those dudes. He was a good brother, but he always wanted to be seen. And when you hear these allegations, right you knowing Stevie J, do you think it's possible that he could be gay? Well, I don't, I don't know his sexuality. 
But cocaine is a hell of a drug, you understand, and by cocaine being a hell of a drug, over the years, there have been rumors and whispers about tension between them. Some say it was over music, others say it was personal, but nothing ever really popped off until now. See, 50 Cent is known for his trolling and his ability to stir up drama. He's always been one to speak his mind and put people on blast and Stevie J, while he's no stranger to controversy, either he's had his fair share of relationship drama and legal troubles, and he indulging with Diddy like that, and now he's invited to the Diddy parties and that, in that whole thing, if you read it, he, he said that Diddy said he was having sexual relationship with Stevie J, so all I can say is this man, if two men lay down how many homos get up to in my book, that's all you can say, man, you don't know, you know, unless you catch them in an act like that, you understand what I'm saying. But if he said Puff said that he laid down with Stevie J and two men lay down, two homos get up, yeah. I mean, that's a hell of a quote, man, if I'm not mistaken, Stevie J, he was with you tonight, B got killed, right? Yeah, Stevie J was there, Stevie J was there, and as soon as Big died, he was supposed to get on the plane with us, with them and go to New York, he rushed to Faith Hotel Rush, just to the hotel, he was wearing my cross, and my chain right, I said, Stevie, I'm not selling you my cross, my cross, got blessed, he said, let me wear it, I said, you okay, bro, uh, he gave me 1,500 for the chain, and then never paid me for the cross, end up giving Faith the cross, and the chain to give to little Chris Wallace, that's what he said he did with it, you think it's a chance he was cracking Faith back then, I don't know what he was doing bro, but it's funny they end up now, it's funny he ran to a big's wife when a he got murdered, but what could have pushed 50 to go nuclear on Stevie like this to put all his business out there for the world to see there has to be more to the story, right the streets are talking, and they're saying that there's been some shady dealings going on behind closed doors that maybe Stevie J isn't as loyal as he claims seems to be that maybe he's been playing both sides of the fence. If you know what I mean, but here's the thing we don't really know what's true. And what's not all we have are rumors and speculation. At this point, what we do know is that 50 Cent has made some serious allegations against Stevie J, and now it's all out in the open. So what exactly did 50 say? What kind of receipts did he bring to the table? And how did Stevie J react when he was confronted with all of this? The plot thickens. And we're just getting started, stay tuned, because we're about to dive into all the juicy details of this messy situation. Now y'all know 50 Cent ain't one to hold his tongue, especially when it comes to spilling tea. He went off on Stivich like a bottle rocket, dropping all kinds of bombshells about his alleged gay affairs. Yeah, we going to see, man, we going to see what they got, but speaking of the raid, right, did you see that viral video of Didi he was seen in Miami with Stevie Jeff after the raid, you seen that video, yeah, I seen it, I've seen it, what you think about that, well, I go way back when Stevie J first came, the bad boy, after they left Uptown Records, and everything like that, and Stevie J and Puff fell out real bad over, you know, oh, oh. It could have been producer credits in the whole nine yards. But Stevie J didn't have with him until Love and Hip Hop when Stevie J went to Love and Hip Hop and he became famous from that puff called them over there and they had a meeting and I guess they rekindled their friendship because I used to bodyguard Stevie J and you know I go to different clubs you know I got pictures and everything Stevie J didn't I he didn't mess with puff you know. Until after that love and an hip hop thing went down, you know. So now they back cool. What got me about this stuff like that, the, that them being back cool, that Stevie J went on TMZ and was speaking up on behalf of Diddy now. If anybody I want speaking up behalf of me, or I had anybody speaking up on on my behalf, it wouldn't be Stevie J, you understand. I don't think that a, a handy individual of his caliber is capable or can be trusted in a way that I would like for him based on his actions on television. And who he is as a person, what he has been shown as an individual is a type of individual that I would have speaking on my behalf. 
Come on, we know he's a drug abuser. We know that he's been been seen putting his hands on women in the wrong way, and I don't know this, this, that underscore underscore is crumbling, man, you know what I'm saying. But you, you know you can always say this, man, and, and, and the infamous words of one of the world's greatest comedians, Richard Pry Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Why you say that cocaine is a hell of a drug cause Lara said that they be doing the liquid cocaine and the in the bottles in the Sarek bottles. We know according to Fiddy Stevie J had been creeping with men on the down low stepping out on his lady loves he even claims that he got receipts to back it up like text messages and photos that allegedly show Stevie J getting cozy with some mystery men 50 wasn't playing around either he put Stevie J on full blast calling him out by name and dragging him for filth the streets are saying that was relentless coming at Stevie from all angles and leaving no stone unturned. According to Fiddy, Stevie J been creeping with men on the down low stepping out on his lady loves he even claimed that he got receipts to back it up like text messages and photos that allegedly show Stevie J getting cozy with some mystery men 50 wasn't playing around, either he put Stevie J on full blast calling him out by name and dragging him for filth the streets or saying that Fiddy was relentless coming at Stevie from all angles and leaving no stone unturned Stevie J been in countless rehabs back and forth, we know we've heard.